Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through removing the cluster, the instrument cluster in a Mercury Milan, a Ford Fusion. The Lincoln Zephyr and MKZ are similar, but there are some differences to it, so you got to be careful. And I'll explain a little bit. I don't have one of them to explain right now, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, looking at the dash right now, I've taken the steering wheel and dropped it down as far as it will go, the little locking lever down here. And then, some of these have caps on them, but there's holes right here. And there's seven millimeter screws up inside there. If you can pop those screws out of there, this down here literally just pops right off. Like you just get a tool behind this bezel. Same thing on the other side. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way so you guys can see what I'm doing. Here. So that's out. Then this rubber right here. You actually just kind of get your finger under it if you can. If you got sometimes you gotta get a pick and just pull that up, pop it off across the top. Right there. Take those screws out and then the whole thing slides out. Okay, now there's screws here bottom corner there's a screw here in the bottom corner and then there's a screw up here in the top middle pull that off now but be careful when you slide it forward because there is a connector hooked to that instrument cluster so here's the connector just it's that connector right there and basically all I did was took the bolts out rolled it forward Wretch back there, pinched the connector, pulled it out, slid the cluster out this way. You need to change it, do your work, whatever it is. Maybe you got some issues back here with this ducting or the GPS module, something like that, that may be an issue. We can get back in here. That's how you get behind the cluster and remove it. That's also two of the bolts down there that you're going to remove to pull the dash out if you have to get to the HVAC system or the airbag, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, with the Lincoln, the MKZ, uh, this cluster kind of comes over and then it wraps over into this dash panel area here. So you got to be careful because I, if, if I remember correctly, there's a trim piece right here that has to pop up and then you pop the cluster or you, you pop the side of the face of the bezel and everything, including the vent and the whole entire piece comes out of there. And then there's another trim piece that comes along the side right here and it's got to be popped forward on the Lincoln uh, MKZ. So that's just a little thing to watch out for when you, you get to a Lincoln, but it's the same principle as this car here.